Welcome to The Upshot Project. I am Solen and if you have followed us in our last videos, you already know that we've been in Australia since August. So for three months I was on a tourist visa in Australia and a friend of mine, Solo Steph, her YouTube channel is in the description below, well, she recommended me to try the clinical trials to make fast money. I had no clue what to expect, but I thought that I could give it a try and maybe share it with you at the same time. First of all, you need to know that as a visitor in Australia, it is totally legal to get paid to do clinical trials just because it is not taxable. It's tax free. Yay! From what I could understand, there's two types of clinical trials. There is the healthy volunteer trials and the patient clinical trials trials. As a healthy participant, I applied on a trial for pulmonary arterial hypertension and I got a call back the day after. What happens is that they ask you some questions about your general health on the phone and if you pass these first requirements, they book you in for a screening. Screenings are basically where they run a couple of tests to see if you're truly eligible for the trial. For the screening, I needed to do an ECG, blood samples, blood pressure and a urine test. After these tests, if you are eligible, they call you back and you pack your stuff for the stay. Quick interruption to encourage you to subscribe to our channel to follow more of our adventures. It helps us so much to have new subscribers. You have no idea. All right, let's go back to the video. The trial I took part of was a total of four nights at the clinic. I had my own room that I could separate from the others with curtains and the bathroom situation wasn't as bad as I thought. It was very clean and there was a good amount of them that we could share with other participants. My very first day was very busy as it was the day they gave us the medication. I gave a lot of blood on that first day since they needed blood samples every 15 minutes for the first hour, then after that it was every hour and then every two hours, which was a lot of blood. Hopefully I had a cannula in my arm so that way they didn't need to stab me with a needle every time they wanted a blood sample. They also ran a lot of ECGs during my stay, which for me was the most annoying part because taking up the patches would sting a lot. <laughs> When you are not needed to give blood samples or your vitals, you can actually do everything you want inside the clinic. There was a big TV, Netflix, a PlayStation, a computer room, as well as a lot of board games. The vibe inside the clinic truly reminded me of a hostel and I met some incredible people. On the fourth day after my final test, I was allowed to leave, but I needed to come back four days afterwards for a follow-up visit to make sure the medication wasn't in my system anymore and to make sure I didn't have any secondary effects. I mean, in overall, it was a really interesting experience and I made 1600 bucks. I feel that if you don't mind giving blood and being locked up in a clinic, it will be totally easy for you. There you go, I hope this video really enlightened you on clinical trials. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel to follow more of our crazy adventures. Thanks again for watching, see you next time!